time it is. Officer down. That's right, folks. Indianapolis police officer shot, wounded on city's northeastern side, colon reports. Let's read. This is from Fox News, folks. Officer down. Officer down. I repeat, officer down. An Indianapolis police officer was hospitalized in stable condition mm. Wednesday night after being shot on the city's northeastern side, according to reports. The police officer was not immediately identified, and there was no word from police on whether any suspects have been taken into custody. Police have been called to the scenes shortly before 9 p.m. on a report of domestic disturbance. Fox 59 of Indianapolis reported when they arrived, the suspect fired at them, striking one of the officers in a leg, according to the station. Police found later found three people suffering from gunshot wounds, with a girl and woman both hospitalized in critical condition. The third wounded person was believed to be the gunman who later died at the hospital. Police believe the gunman's wounds were self-inflicted, Fox 59 reports. So as we can see, we can take a look at the scene where the officer is down. So we can see there's a Walgreens and the officer is down. It's a lot of cops. So uh, now I just want to say as per usual, um, no police fo officers fired any shots during the in incident. I don't believe anything that comes out of any of these situations unless there's body camera footage. There is no way in hell that I would ever listen to anything a cop says in any capacity ever and at all. I will never listen to what a cop says. I will only listen to body camera footage. So unless there's body camera footage, the best assumption I can make is that the cops came in and shot the three people. One of them died and then the cop got shot in retaliation. That's the best thing I can think of without the body camera footage that shows that this was this the force was justified in this instance. Um, we all know that police are well known to lie about everything all the time. I would like to cite the recent scandal of the San Diego Sheriff's Department making a completely fake video about exposure to fentanyl. That went viral. Maybe I'll cover that, the, the debunking tomorrow. Um, but I would like to talk about that. They lied. The person pretended to have an overdose. They were not in any danger whatsoever. The whole thing was made up. I would also like to remind folks of the George Floyd murder. The original police report said that George Floyd died of an overdose in an incident and police were involved but didn't inflict any harm. Now we know from ex uh, from extraneous reports in the term in the, in the, in the in the you know the the cell phone video uh, that that is not the truth. George Floyd was murdered by a police officer. So I'd like to remind everyone that cops always lie. They lie all the time. It is in their job description to lie. So also, 80% of cops voted for Donald Trump. 40% of cops are domestic abusers. These are verified statistics, okay? So with that being said, I do not believe for a second that the situation as described is what actually happened. I think it is way more likely that the cop went in, shot all three of them, and then killed one, and then shot himself so that it would look like, uh, you know, whatever. It would Then he can get away with it. That, to me, is far more likely. And if you want to convince me that that's not the truth, release the body camera footage. That simple. Oh, there is no body camera footage. Well, okay, then I don't care what you have to say. Cops' accounts are not truthful in any capacity so officer down folks i hope he has a rough recovery